Everybody slowly open your eyes when you're done breathing. Teaching children to see and escape from life stressors that can keep them from succeeding. They are dealing with um, communities with high rates of violence, gang activity, drug activity. So can mindfulness training help students in the classroom? The practice was once synonymous with yoga studios. Yeah, and these days even major corporations offer this kind of training to employees. Mindfulness practices involve focusing on the present and on your breathing. And now researchers at Johns Hopkins University are studying the effects of this training on students in elementary urban elementary schools. Before students at this Baltimore City Public School start reading and writing, Breathe in as deep as you can. They begin the day with time to reflect. Students lead a daily two-minute mindfulness exercise. A lot of these young people are coming into school in a state of fight or flight. Researcher Tamar Mendelson analyzed mindfulness instruction in Baltimore City Public Schools. <laughs> Elementary students were trained on breathing techniques and yoga poses for 45 minutes, four times a week, for 12 weeks. Before and after participating in the program, students were surveyed about how they reacted to stress and about their moods and emotions. Their scores on that survey showed us that they were able to respond to stress with less emotional arousal. The survey suggested that the kids had less rumination and fewer intrusive thoughts. The school has a mindful moments room. A certified instructor leads students through exercises if they seem stressed in the classroom. And usually when I close my eyes, it, it feels like I'm in a different universe. I feel like I'm calm, relaxed, and I can get the day on without getting in any trouble. So having a tool for mindfulness hopefully will stick with them their entire life. Everybody slowly open your eyes when you're done breathing. Have a wonderful day and don't forget to breathe. No, well, yeah. Baltimore is not the only place where mindfulness in the classroom is being studied. More than 300 schools will have its students practice mindfulness in a study to improve youth mental health. I love that idea. That's I good. really do. And I love the fact that there was a youngster actually kind of on the mic explaining Running, and trying yes. to help. So. And, and you can hear the buy-in in just the way the kids are talking oh, about it. It's not a leap for them at all. Really great.